Today we are going to talk about two neutrality principles in international taxation, capital import and capital export neutrality. Imagine you are the manager of a domestic corporation that expands business abroad in the form of a foreign direct investment. The profits are taxed twice, namely in the foreign and domestic country. Countries can adopt the credit or exemption method to reduce or avoid international double taxation. The methods aim at establishing tax neutrality for cross-border investments. This means taxation should not distort investment decisions. In this video we are going to talk about capital import and capital export neutrality. Under capital import neutrality, regardless of whether the investor is domestic or foreign, an investment within one country receives the same tax treatment. Capital import neutrality is achieved by the exemption method. Under the exemption method foreign income is only taxed in the foreign country and exempt from taxation in the domestic country. Thus, all investments are taxed uniformly from the perspective of the foreign country. Under capital export neutrality, all resident investors receive equal tax treatment regardless of whether they invest domestically or abroad. Capital export neutrality is achieved by the unlimited credit method. Under the credit method foreign taxes paid can be credited against the domestic tax liability. Thus, the domestic tax burden becomes definite and all resident investors are taxed uniformly from the perspective of the domestic country, resulting in capital export neutrality. If the domestic taxes are lower than the foreign tax liability, the unlimited credit method allows for a refund of the excess tax credit to achieve capital export neutrality from the perspective of the domestic country. Under the limited credit method, no excess tax credit is granted. Therefore, if the foreign tax liability is higher than the domestic tax, capital import neutrality is achieved. To summarize, capital import neutrality achieves tax neutrality from the perspective of the capital importing country, irrespectively of the investor's location. In contrast, Capital export neutrality achieves tax neutrality from the perspective of the capital exporting country, irrespectively of the investment location. The credit and exemption method are explained in two separate videos.